All right, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on my cover stitch. Um, it's the Brother 2340 CV cover stitch. Um, so I use my left and middle needles. I take the right needle out for a narrow hem, I think is what it's called. So I've got my left needle at four, my middle needle at four. Don't You don't have to worry about the green one if you took that needle out. And then my looper is at five here. And then over here, my differential feed is between the seven and the one, or the point seven and the one. And then I have my um, stitch width to between three and four. So if you're gonna hem in the round, um, what I like to do is I just search this little loop of fabric here. Oh, Lord Jesus. I just search this little loop of fabric. Um, and so I like to fold it down to my desired hem, which is about a half inch. I'm pretty good at just eyeballing it now. Um, so you're going to just put that underneath your pressure foot. But before you do that, go ahead and pay attention to your feed dogs here. I'm going to try to bring you over so you can see them. If you can see that there's like these four lines here. Okay, so from the right, you'd count three over. So one, two, three. Or from the left, you'd count two over. So one, two. Pay attention to that third one from the right, second from the left, sorry. Um, and the fo uh, fold underneath, as long as you keep it aligned with that third feed dog, you're gonna have a perfect hem. Just make sure you're paying attention to the side and you're not going over here. Basically a half inch is gonna be pretty much folded right um, underneath and then you'll have a little bit left over on the side. So this is what it looks like. Fold it down about a half an inch. Typical, that's typically what I do for my seams or quarter inch sometimes, mostly it's half inch. All right, so I eyeball it, go underneath here, and then you can double check to make sure that you're on it correctly when you lift up your pieces here. And then you'll just pay attention to it underneath. Make sure it's aligned with that feed dog. Lord Jesus. Okay, and then you will just go. And sometimes you can see the imprint of the fabric, but then I just like to lift up and make sure but I'm following that feed dog here. All right, and before I get to the spot where I started, I like to cut my tail. The back, there's one tail in the back and there are two tails in the front here. I like to just cut them short because it makes it easier to pay attention and make it a better looking seam. So then I'll keep looking underneath until I get right to where I started. And then you just overlap about an inch. My overlap looks terrible right now, <laughs> of course. Um, and then I make sure my needles are in the up position. I grab these two needle threads here from the needle, from the threads. I'll release the tension to pull them. I'll lift my presser foot. I'll go underneath the foot, being careful not to clip my fabric, pull those needles forward or the needle threads forward, snip them, release my looper tension, pull this, and all of those, as you can see, like I said, it didn't, <laughs> didn't go over it very well, but that takes a lot of practice. Um, and it pulls all those threads to the back and they should be knotted. If not, just give them a good pull. And if you're even more suspicious and you wanna just double check it, Go ahead and grab two and one and then just knot them together. About two times is fine. Lord Jesus, okay. And then I'll do one more for good measure. And then like I said, this is what it looks like. It's stretchy enough for a knit, so it's not gonna pop those seams. It looks pretty good. Um, it's a little loose as far as what would be considered perfect, but it works for me in my knit. So cut above that knot that you just hand did. Like I said, it should be knotted, but if you if you don't trust it, go ahead and knot it yourself. But then that is what it looks like. And you have a pretty perfect hem there. So hope this helps you.